Hey everyone, this is Ken back with another tutorial on an electrical pole. Now what's great about this, it actually works just like one. And it actually stretches a signal about 40 blocks per pole. So there's actually a two-way signal in the system. So for the design we use tripwire and hooks to send this pulse from point A to point B. Which is pretty cool. Because it actually makes it more real. So what we're going to do is we're going to conduct a test to show you the speed of how the signal is transferred from the beginning from one point to the other. Now this is 145 blocks. We have some redstone or repeaters on one side and the actual mechanism itself on the left. So let's activate it. Wow, once you've noticed that the signal on the left actually activated the system a lot quicker. I mean, that was actually a one tick speed, which is pretty cool. So let me show how this works. The trip wire activates that redstone, which activates the repeater, which activates the block, and then activates that piston, which extends upwards and activates the trip wire. Now that train cart doesn't break the trip wire, but makes it seem as if there's an actual item hitting the wire itself. Hence, repeating the signal on the opposite end. Wow, that was kind of fast. All right. So at this point, I want you to place some spruce wood in the middle and stretch that about 15 blocks up. Awesome. Once you've done that, then I want you to go to the side of it and place some spruce wood at an angle. Let me show you. And stretch that about six blocks from one end. And then repeat the same thing on the other side, or the opposite side. Now at this point, I want you to place one right on top, one block away from the middle, and then two space, and then one right there. One block, two space, and then one there. Perfect. And on one end, extend that outwards on both sides. And in the middle, on the opposite end, extend that outwards both sides as well. So you have this opposite effect. So you have this kind of layout at this point. Now once you've done that, place a block right underneath it, underneath each one. Just like that. And you can extend it outward just once on both sides. Now at this point, I want you to get your half slabs ready and place it right underneath the middle. Perfect. Just like that and delete the one right on top, that block, on each one as well. Delete, delete. Perfect. Now place a half slab right on top of the ones that doesn't have anything on top of it, you see? Has a little empty space on top. Perfect. You should have this kind of format at this at this point. Uh, you can place a half slab right there in the middle, just to cover that little spot up. Now, when you get your regular pistons and place it on the block where the half slabs are, right there, right in front of it. Now, believe it or not, those half slabs actually stabilize the carts that we're going to put on later. Now, when you add trip wire, the trip hooks right on top of every block, just like that. Now, repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Awesome. All right, now get your repeaters. I want you to place it right on top of those half slabs facing forward towards the block with the piston. You see? Make sure it's doing that, otherwise the mechanism won't work. Now add some redstone on the opposite block right behind the repeater. Because that trip hook on top of it will activate that. Now at this point, place a block on top of the piston and a rail, then the cart. Now the trick is to break the rail 
Then once you've broken that, hold on. Awesome, break that block. Now you're gonna repeat that for each, well, for each piston. Awesome, you should have this kind of format at this point. Now let's add a little more details to the actual design. We're gonna get some spruce stairs, a button. I'll show you how we're gonna apply that. Now they don't have much use as far as functionality, but they do give a bit of detail to it, um, which is always great. I mean, you always want this to look more real, not too plain. So you can just add the buttons on the side on top of every space that doesn't have anything on it. I mean, that spruce wood stairs on the side looks like it gives actual support to the actual mechanism. I mean, it really gives a little more life to it. So, let me explain the string. Now, string can only be extended outwards 40 blocks. So, keep in mind, you can only extend this outwards 40 blocks until you have to make the next pull. Now, you might want to work with the middle one, because, of course, that's the shortest, if you're going to do it, just so you don't mess up the whole thing. But um, at this point, you're good to go. I mean, just extend it as far as you want. Um, make sure to add your block and the trip hook right in front of it just to um, tighten up the whole system. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you could please leave a comment and subscribe.